Hello all, welcome to part 22 of JavaScript for beginner series. In this session, I am going to explain and practically demonstrate how to use dates in JavaScript. So let's get started. In order to use dates in JavaScript, we have to first create an object for the date guys, okay? We have to first create an object for the date, but how to create an object for the date? For that guys, we have to use a keyword known as new keyword. Not only just the new keyword, we also have to create this constructor known as date constructor. You see, date is there followed by some circular brackets. That means this together will become a constructor case. But what exactly is this new keyword and what exactly is this date constructor? What exactly are the constructors and what is this new keyword? All those things I will explain in detail in the upcoming session. Guys. For now, blindly follow. In order to create an object for this date, we have to use this new keyword and date constructor. Okay, just blindly follow for this session, guys. In the upcoming sessions, you are going to get clarity on what is this new keyword and uh, what is this, why this is called as a constructor and what exactly is a constructor. All those things I'll be explaining in the upcoming sessions. So let's get started uh, by opening this Visual Studio Code IDE and uh, let's create a sample JavaScript file, say demo.js. And here I'm going to create an object for the date. How to create an object for the date? I have to say new. I have to use a new keyword space and I have to create the constructor date constructor. Okay. In order to create a date constructor, we have to provide the circular brackets after the date. Okay. And uh, about this new keyword and constructors concept, I'll explain in the upcoming session guys, for now blindly follow. So the moment you create an object for the date by writing this kind of statement like new date constructor statement, what will happen is in the memory, some space or memory space will be allocated for that particular newly created object. Okay. For this newly created date object, some memory will be allocated. Guys. Some memory will be allocated. But how to refer to this memory? How to refer to this memory? There should be something, right? There will not be any name for the memory. Okay, we have to refer to this memory. For that, guys, we are going to use some object reference. Okay, we have to use some object reference. How to create the object reference here? So, object reference creation is similar to creating a variable, guys. Okay, so I'll say let d is equal to you can give anything guys you can give any uh, name here for this kind of variable like d or e or f, f okay i gave d because d stands for date right so that's why i gave d here okay as it makes sense so guys what's happening is here this part is creating an object for the date and to that particular date okay to that particular date's memory that got uh, reserved here okay we are using this object reference okay we are using this d as the object reference why we are calling this as an object reference because using this variable we are referring to the we are referring to the memory location that is allocated to the newly created object that's why we call that as object reference guys okay here d is called as an object reference okay which is referring to the object memory that is allocated while creating an object okay fine so far so good guys now what will happen if i print this object reference it will print the date and time okay it will print the date and time according to the browser okay that means according to the browser's time zone not our time zone guys okay according to the browser's time zone it will print the date and time guys okay it will print the date and time what if uh, i print here in the javascript there is no particular browser here right what will happen so if you are really printing it on a browser it will be different guys okay if you are really printing on a browser it will be different but if you print in the javascript code you will get a different output anyhow so here I will say clear node demo.js and you will get the date and time in this format guys in the browser's time zone or some other time zone format you will get. But if you want to get a proper date and time in your own time zone format, then what you have to do is you just have to say d dot to string. You have to convert this date to string guys, then you will get a proper date. Okay, not just this kind of date, you will get a proper date if you say d dot to string here. So I will say node demo.js, you will get a better date and time now. You see, it will be very descriptive date. As you see, Monday is coming. Yes, today is Monday. And uh, month, while I'm recording this video, uh, the month is September and uh, date is 06. And also the year is 2021, while I'm recording this video. And 16.53.4, you see in my system time also 16.53 is there. That is 4.53, 4.53 p.m. here. And uh, here zero for all the seconds. And uh, my time zone is uh, GMT plus 5.30 time zone. And uh, the time standard time is IST, okay, Indian standard time. I'm recording the video from India. Fine. So this is what happens, guys. Okay. Uh, instead of that only printing the object reference, convert that into a string, guys. D dot string. You will get a better time. Okay. Better time here. Fine. Uh, 
uh, this is clear for you, right? Now, let me demonstrate different uh, uh, date functions we have, okay? There are a lot of date functions, guys, uh, which will get a lot of details for us, okay? I'll be demonstrating the date functions. How to use the date functions? I can say d dot, okay? This object reference d dot get date, okay? If I say d dot get date, it will get me today's date. What is the today's date, guys? 06 is the today's date. It should get me today's date. Let me print this one, guys. Console dot log of d dot get date. If I print this out, the six will be printed in the output. Six will be printed in the output. You see, today's date that is six got printed in the output. Similarly, we have a lot of stuff, guys. Okay, uh, we can say get day. Okay, there is some other method known as get day, guys. This is not a variable, guys. It's a method, so you just provide with the circular brackets after the get day. And if you run this, guys, you will get uh, number one, guys. Today is Monday, guys. So today is Monday. Sunday is assigned with zero, guys. Monday is one. Tuesday is two. Wednesday is three. Thursday is four. Friday is five. Uh, Saturday is six, like this. Zero to six, okay. Sunday is zero. Monday is one, like that, okay. And uh, Saturday is six, like that. But today's day is Monday, so you'll get the number one printed, guys. Okay, that's how it will work. No demo dot. Yes, you'll get number one. Number one means Monday, okay. Similarly, there are other things, guys. Okay, apart from the get day, get date. Okay, we have get month. Okay, we have get month, and uh, you will not get uh, number nine here. You see, the month number is zero nine, but uh, in fact, you will get eight, guys. Okay, I'll tell you the reason. Note, when I run this, okay, you got eight, but uh, you may be thinking that why nine didn't came. September means nine, right? Why eight came? Here, guys. Uh, Zero stands for January, guys. So one for uh, February in this case of JavaScript, guys. Okay. So in a uh, one number minus, okay, we have to minus a number. So nine minus one, you will get eight here, guys. Okay. If you are getting eight, means that is September only. Okay. Just treat that. Or, okay, if you are having a kind of confusion, just say plus one, guys. Okay. You'll get the proper month. Okay. Just say d dot get month plus one. You'll get a proper month. Node demo dot js. Okay. Because it is assigning zero to January and one to February and so on. Okay, September is coming as eight. That's that's how the get month function works. Then we have a lot of other things, guys. Uh, li like like uh, we can say get hours, guys. Okay, at this moment sixteen hours is the time, right? Get hours, I can say d dot console dot log d dot get hours. I'll create this as a function. Okay, this will get you the number of hours, guys. Sixteen hours. You will get the sixteen hours here. Uh, node demo.js. I'm running this JavaScript file using node.js. So 16, you got 16 hours here. Okay, you got 16 hours. Now, what else? Uh, hours is there. We, similarly, we can get minutes, guys. So get minutes function is there. For each and everything, there is a separate function. Okay, in JavaScript. So this will get you the number of minutes here. 56 is there for now. Let's see whether we'll get 56 or not. Node demo. Dot. Yes. Now it got changed to 57, guys. That's why you got 57 here. Okay, the current time got changed to 57 minutes. Okay, and you can get seconds also, guys. Get seconds. Okay, get seconds. Get seconds. Get milliseconds is also there. I'm, but I'm not going to demonstrate milliseconds. Okay, it's as same as whatever it is. Okay. Uh, so you see here seconds is also not shown, but uh, somehow it is 18 seconds internally. So like this, you can get all the details, guys. Uh, day, date, month. Okay, day, date, month, uh, hours, minutes, seconds, milliseconds lot of other things are possible guys okay lot and lot of things are possible so you can get the year guys we forgot the year right so let's get the in order to get the year uh, we have a function known as get full year function okay get full year function this will give, give you the year guys 2021 is the current year so you'll get uh, 2021 uh, node demo dot as per uh, the day of recording year of recording it's 2021 so you'll get 2021 here any other things left? These are the things, guys. Nothing much, okay? That's all about the date, okay? In order to use the date, you have to create an object using the new keyword and date constructor. Once the object is created, you have to uh, refer it to you, refer to this particular uh, date object uh, using some object reference. For creating the object reference, you have to say let d is equal to or e is equal to new date, okay? Whatever the object that is uh, created, right? To that, this particular variable will act as an object reference, okay? And using this object reference, we can perform all these things. We can print the date according to the browser's uh, time zone, or we can convert to our time zone where t d dot two string. It will give you all the details in our format, and uh, full year, date, month, hours, minutes, seconds, day. Lot of things are possible, guys. We end whatever I explained in this session. 
but this much knowledge is enough for the dates okay as part of javascript so that's all about the dates guys see you in the next video session thank you bye